All right, welcome back everybody. This is Terry Dolberg, uh, doing some new technology here down in the uh, great uh, Okoboji Lake in Iowa. Uh, it's a one-wheel XR. Um, it's already been unboxed uh, by many times uh, already, but uh, give this a shot. First thing I see is the uh, overbox that they've got from Future Motion is uh, a little bit tighter pack. They used to have uh, a larger overbox that uh, was protect. Got the packaging a bit more robust on the inside, so we'll see how that is. From there, it's got a little bit of an overbox that's happening. So here, on that side, let's pull these out, set to the side. All in all, I think it's uh, still very secure packaging, but not anywhere as large as the previous box that was there. So, alright, you can see uh, graphic-wise uh, what is already on the others, but that's all of the sides um, that are there. So we'll go ahead and I'll open this up and we'll see what's happened on the inside of this. The package looks the same as the V1. Uh, I did not have a Plus version, so this is actually my first version of a Plus. I've ridden one before. So we've got the cover as the booklet kind of locked in on that side. Packaging on the back remains. So we'll go here. So this is the way that they're packaging in at this point. With the XR it is upside down, so it doesn't really matter a whole lot from that side. But uh, anyway, you can see the contents pretty much the same packaging on that aspect. We lift it out. Room here on the table. All right, then we go on that side with the charger. Pull that out. Looks like it got it kind of bound in. As far as security goes, lift this off. A little bit of a PC. On, but the uh, wood finish is really nice on the deck boards. On the uh, first uh, pluses, they had issues, I, I think, with uh, the grip tape uh, coming loose, but these look to be very well bonded. Uh, seem to be more aggressive than what I remember, too. Uh, from that side, a little bit thicker. Um, but all in all, very good uh, clean finish. Um, still the, the same Vega, Vega tire, this there, and then the charger business cards they toss in uh, but from the tire side as you know still the same Vega the, the charger looks like uh, they've done a little bit I don't know if it's just a colorization that's on there um, higher capacity uh, from what I understand on that but uh, I'll get this out here in a little bit you don't need to see me struggle there so anyway um, check back uh, or in a little bit here we'll move on down to the uh, the first ride impressions we'll go from there so thank you very much what do you think Lucy Is that a good one wheel box a good job over packing that, did they? You done? Did the, did the box beat you? Are we gonna get inside it? All right, guys, Terry Dolbrick here, uh, doing first impressions on the one wheel XR. Um, unboxing uh, is in a separate video. Put them together, see what's going on. Uh, first uh, rides uh, should be good. So it's a more powerful motor uh, than my uh, V1 that I had. I rode on a plus. Uh, so we'll, we'll see what it can do here at the uh, little skate park. I'm not gonna get too crazy. We'll just do some first rides and let you know what it, uh, what it can do. Wish me luck. All right, that's the first pass. So pretty good. 
Uh, plenty of power, especially getting up a hill. I'm a, I'm a lighter guy, so, or a heavier guy. I wish I was lighter, uh, but pretty good. I, I don't know that I hit any of the uh, uh, ramps at this point, uh, but we'll see, uh, see how it goes. Comment, like, uh, share the video. Um, I'll get in, I also got the fender. Looks like they've done a new uh, revision to the fender. I'll dig in a little bit on that, put that together as well. So thanks guys, see ya. Hi everyone, Terry Dolbert here, uh, getting the fender for the one wheel XR. Looks to be a little bit different than uh, previous ones. Um, we'll take a look at that real quick. Set this down off to the side. From the outside of the package at this fender compared to the previous generation, there's uh, some gussets that run along here. Looks like the standoffs are now molded in, which you should see. Previously, they had these little inserts uh, that would go in for the fender. But it looks like now it just kind of sets will be off uh, nice and flush with that uh, from that side. Uh, starting to put a little bit of a, a poly to prevent uh, scratches, but very nice. Should be as strong or stronger than the, uh, the previous. The tree looks to be maybe a little bit different. Still uh, a glass filled um, component. You can see the little uh, stride, uh, striations inside there. But anyway, very, very good design. Uh, we'll, we'll check it out, but it uh, looks to be a more refined approach on, uh, on the fender. But, all right, well, that should wrap up uh, everything with the, uh, the one we all do the install. I uh, don't need to bore you with that, but uh, you just take out the screws, basically, that are in uh, at this location. Then you would take and install the longer ones um, into the, uh, the fender uh, to capture that back in. So uh, please like, subscribe, um, comment for anything that you've got, additional questions. Uh, uh, very, very fun, uh, much improved uh, uh, over version one. Uh, limited time I had on the, the Plus, but the XR has uh, a lot of power. Uh, fender looks uh, good, so uh, looking forward to getting that on there too. So check back, uh, like, subscribe, and we'll, uh, we'll talk to you later. Thanks, bye.